Hello and thank you for tuning in to this set of tutorial videos. I'm Jared, owner and designer of Future Retro Products. And for the past six months, I've been working very hard on two new, very new products for 2019. And that is our brand new track sequencer and the MIDI bus MIDI interface. Um, about a year or two ago, we started selling these transients and really have had a great acceptance. We thank you for helping, buying, supporting this product. And uh, as cool as this is, if you've got one, you're going to want a Trax to go along with it. Because the Trax is a three-part sequencer, and it really allows the transient to kind of become an entire drum machine by itself. And not only that, but the Trax, we can manipulate it in real time uh, with all of its cool features. Um, we set out for this just to be a sequencer for the transient, but uh, by the time we were done, we had so many cool features, uh, new features that you've never seen before in other products, that uh, it just kept growing and growing and growing, and before you know it, uh, you can control just about anything and do about anything you'd want. It's basically got the same power as a giant sequencer and very tiny package, and uh, anyway, it's very cool. you got to check it out. So... The Trax is just 6 HP wide, not going to take up very much space in your unit, and about an inch and a half deep once you've got your power cable connected. Um, you do have a trigger output, you've got two CV outputs, and you've got a clock jack here, which can either act as an input or output, and it'll also provide clock and reset signals going either way. On the back, you've got two sets of trimmers here for the CB outputs. Um, one of these is going to adjust your offset, and the other one is going to adjust the scaling of the CB output. Uh, from the factory, these are adjusted to support the 1 volt per octave standard, so if you want to control an analog oscillator, you can do that. Um, or if you're controlling an external module that might support some weird standard, like 1.2 volts or one of those weird things, you can do that with this too. Um, below that, you've got a little header that just defines what sync this unit's going to be, whether it's going to act like the master or the slave when you're using MIDI, or uh, whether you just want to use it internally or sync to an external clock. You've also got a display here. Oh, I guess I should mention on the back here, you also have a MIDI header. Uh, that's going to define how MIDI signals are sent to and fro on our power bus connector here, and that is something unique. We've come up with these modules so that you can allow these two guys to talk MIDI over the power bus, keeping your front panel nice and clean, uh, allowing you more space to actually perform in your system. And we also include a special power cable like this. And that allow us to connect both the MIDI bus and the tracks to the same rhythm cable, only taking up one connector on your power system. And so each module is getting power through that ribbon cable, but they're also talking to one another using that same cable. Um, the tracks has a list price of $180, and the MIDI bus sells for $70. The MIDI bus will also include three of these 3.5 to 5 pin DIN MIDI cables. So you're really getting everything you need um, to use this right out of the box. Again, you can use the, the MIDI bus with the tracks by itself and you'll have clock in and out, MIDI note in and out, and be able to send MIDI out. Uh, also, while you're doing that, you can be generating, you know, an analog clock here. So you're doing MIDI to clock conversion. You can send MIDI into this and convert that into your trigger and CB outputs as well. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can work with this. Um, you can also buy the optional flying bus uh, ribbon cable, and that'll allow you to send MIDI clock from, say, the MIDI bus onto four additional tracks. Or let's say you don't want MIDI in your system, you can still use the flying bus to connect up to five tracks now with uh, 
they'll be talking MIDI to one another, but you don't send MIDI to the external world. Instead, you could be sending in a clock in that situation. So there's a lot of different ways you can use this. I think it'll meet your needs no matter what they are. Uh, you can't beat the price, you can't beat the features. It's a very deep, so jump right in, check it out, and see what all these features are all about. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below on YouTube, or feel free to contact us through our website, send us an email directly. You can also get in touch with us through our Facebook page, and be sure to follow us on there anyway, because you're gonna see a lot of kind of behind the scenes information and news that uh, usually gets posted before our website. So thanks for tuning in.